Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Frey, and this is Survival of the Fittest. This man right here, this handsome chunk of awesome, got a 55 kill streak in this game with zero deaths. You know what that is? That's five more kills than Cotton Hill got in World War II. That's right, he killed 50 men. I killed 55. That's five more people that I killed that Cotton Hill didn't. Just think about that. Just, just take a moment. Let that sink in. Who got more kills? This guy. Who got less kills? Hank Hill's father. Oh, propane this, propane that. Well, guess what? This guy right here kills people. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this gameplay, you know, it, it goes by pretty slowly because I'm sniping. And in generally, throughout the gameplay, I'm in one location only. I was sniping as much as I possibly could. But, you know, at close quarters, it really comes down to knifing, which is something I often don't do because I suck at it. I mean, really suck at it. I mean, at one point, I think this guy had knife repellent because I just completely did a 180 when I tried to stab him. And he shanked me in the back, which was very embarrassing because I was away, one away from a, a chopper. And, you know, that's painful. Like, it's... Dying at all, in general isn't really painful, but dying when you're one away from a kill streak or, uh, you know, on a freaking flawless gameplay, that, that, is, that is really painful. Thankfully, I didn't get anything like that this game because, you know, that would have really just been hard. If I, if I had died at the last second, which has happened to me before, I would be very sad. And, I mean, I've actually gotten to a point where I'm like 45 and 1, 50 and 1, whatnot, or 50 and 0 and whatnot. And then I die, and then I manage to die some other way, right before the game ends, and, and that's how I get 50 and 2 gameplays and, and whatnot. It really happens often, especially in Black Ops 2, it hasn't really happened often here, because usually here I only get to like 20 kill streak before I die. Spontaneously. I spontaneously combust now. I wish I did, because then now, that's an actually, you know, I can't prevent that. But no, the ways I die, I, I could have prevented it, like... I was close to a cam strike at one point, and I ran into a support squad mate who had a riot shield. I panicked, because after I emptied a clip on him, and you know, riot shield, I ran, he shoots me in the back, and I'm like, ah, I, sh I should I was feeling like breaking the game, but I'm like, ah, you know, that's that's fair, it's a support kill streak. <laughs> Shit. I, mean, I always thought that was really cool, you know, you call riot shields to, you know, run the game. And if you have enough, you know, they can flood you and they can, like, box you in and kill you with... Ra Actually, come to think of it, have they ever even killed anyone with riot shields? I don't think I've ever been in a scenario where they kill anyone with riot shields. They usually just whip out their pistols. Uh, usually because I, I... Well, I used to run away when I saw them. Now I just go around and just shoot them as much as possible. It's because those ballistic vests are such a pain. I mean, they have a riot shield on top of that. They have a ballistic vest. So it's, you know, it's hard enough to get an angle where you can shoot them. So... <laughs> It gets irritating. But, you know, now I realize that, you know, just wait for them to take out their freaking pistol and just sh shoot their faces off. You know, blast them. Team Rocket's blasting off again. That's their, that's what that's what I would call their faces. Because I'm going to blast them. But, <laughs> you know, this gameplay was pretty good. I, I can't believe I made it 55 and no. Usually I die, and it's always my fault because I do not know how to play games. And I panic. I particularly really panic. I mean... Ah, how can you not panic? But, you know, I'm sniping here, which is different. You know, some people go on high kill streaks with, you know, certain weapons, but I'm using a sniper. Now, I personally feel like snipers are OP, and you might think, wow, well, that explains how you got a 55 and 0. That, it, that's an exact statement there. That's the only way I could get a 55 and 0 in this game is with a one hit kill weapon that you can use at close range. I mean, I've run into situations where I've shot a sniper with the. Uh, revolver-like shotgun three times in the back at close range mind you and they just turn around and quick scope me like nothing wow i really just lost a close quarters uh confrontation to a sniper when i had a shotgun and i fired three times before they were aware of my location that's you know resistance is futile when you're going up against a sniper in this game I think the only way they can possibly fix it is to actually patch quick scoping. I mean, there you can see how quick I can scope in. I managed to scope in and kill a guy as I was getting shot and still use my tactical retreat maneuver to evade the bullets and survive. And here you see me using my knife, which, you know, is something I don't depend on, but is it's a nice tool to have available when you're in close quarters. So again, I don't really feel like snipers uh, are fair, and they definitely leave people at a disadvantage. 
at close and long range confrontations. I mean, if you're all, if you're on this if you're holding the sniper, you feel like the shit because you're you're accurate. But if you're on the other side, you're just like that's really cheap. And you know, it really really is. You can scope in, you can kill people at close range really easily. I mean, it's incredible just how easy it is to snipe in this game, especially in this particular game. You know, the out of focus effect when you scope in makes it too easy now because at least in the past they couldn't have really peripheral vision. They couldn't see to their side. Someone could sneak up to them as long as they're out of their scope angle and kill them. But, you know, you can't see everything. But it's just unfair now that you can because it's too easy for you to see everything now with the out of focus effect. I mean, I've, I, I was at one situation where I ran up to a guy and he saw me off the edge of his screen because, you know, out of focus. You can still see things unlike before where he was just black. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely unfair. So, hard scoping, quick scoping, you know, they definitely buffed hard scoping with the fact that you can have peripheral vision when you're looking into a scope. Um, so, you know, take away quick scoping, I think that'll be fair, because, of course, it's just too domineering in this game. So, it definitely needs a patch where it doesn't scope in so quickly. And, I mean, it's totally gonna be fair, because if snipers are out shooting, shotguns at close range you clearly can see that there's something wrong there uh you know with that said though i'm using a slapper because i'm trying to get the ghillie suit camouflage uh which is character customization options which you can unlock by using a, a sniper with the chrome barrel attachment uh, which i of course i'm using because i want that ghillie suit who doesn't want to be all sneaky and look like a leaf man I mean, no one messes around with someone in a ghillie suit. When, when have you ever seen something like that go down where the person messing with the guy in the ghillie suits ends up, you know, okay afterwards? Because ghillie suits are stealthy, man. You can sneak up to people. Usually, I don't like uh, ghillie suits in this game because, you know, everyone in general runs around with them. And I'm so accustomed from Modern Warfare 2 and previous games where, you know, ghillie was attributed to snipers that now every time I see someone running around a ghillie I just think to myself hey that guy's a sniper I'll surely kill him at close range by running around and doing a lot of tricky movements so they can't quick scope me and often they do have rapid fire weapons some machine guns machine guns etc so they spray me and mow me down which <laughs> sucks and you know to make matters worse sometimes they do have snipers and they you know, quick scope just as easily as if they had any rapid fire weapons. So it definitely, definitely comes down to just personal preference. I would like to have ghillie suits only attributed to snipers, but you know, you can't do anything about it, so you might as well join them. So I'm trying to get the ghillie suit here, and of course, you know, probably this gameplay is a shining example of me attempting to get a ghillie suit since most of those kills. I got in this game where, I don't know, about 10 sniper kills, I'd say a good, uh, the rest of the 10, because I think I got about 20 kill streak. Uh, so, you know, 10 sniper kills, 10 knife slash honey badger kills, and the rest, you know, kill streak kills. However, I wanted to mention one thing, I hope you guys can help me out with this. It says I have a 33 streak in my kills leaderboards, even though I didn't get a chem strike, and I believe that that kills leaderboard uh, only shows you your highest gun streak however I'm clearly incorrect here because that shows way more kills than I could have possibly gotten with a gun in this game and I can assure you I hadn't gotten a 33 streak in the past on this game so I have no idea where that came from if you guys can clear that up for me if certain kill streaks work after a certain time towards your kill streak, I'd like to know, so please feel free to share, and while you're sharing, feel free to tell me what your best gameplay and score has been, in terms of, you know, it doesn't have to be pure score or gameplay, it could be also captures, you know how many people you rescued in this particular game mode, feel free to share your epic stories and tales of awesomeness in the comments below, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.